Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm showing you how to save and load hotbars in Minecraft. So if you like my videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one in the future. And so in this video, I'll be showing you how to both save and load custom hotbars in Minecraft. So you can do something like this, where I have this hotbar right here. I just press a couple of buttons and I switch my hotbar over to nine different versions. You can see all of them right here. And so this is an in-game feature that I don't think is used too often, but it's really, really useful. Of course, it is only available in Java Edition and only available when you play in creative mode. So make sure you keep that in mind. It is available in any recent edition of the game, so you should be able to use this. And the easiest way to check if it's available for you is just go into creative inventory and if you see this saved hotbars tab up here, then yes, this is possible for you. As we're going to go over here as well and see all of our saved hotbars right here. Those are the ones I just cycled through. So how do you save your hotbars? Well, the default key to save hotbars is actually C, but you can check for yourself by going into options, controls, and then over to keybinds, and then scroll all the way down until you see creative mode, load hotbar, activator and save hotbar activator. As you can see, saving hotbars is set to C and loading hotbars is set to X. So let's see how this works. So what you need to do first is just create a hotbar. So let's say we want some spawn eggs in one of our hotbars for some reason. Let's add the monster spawner at the start. So put that one right here. And we want to put a couple of spawn eggs here as well. Of monsters you spawn in quite frequently. So let's say creepers. Maybe extra little, we'll grab the warden, maybe some parrots. We'll do the new iron golem spawn egg as well as the new snow golem spawn eggs. And we'll also add the ender dragon and wither spawn eggs, which of course you can get using commands. There we go. And we'll do the ender dragon spawn eggs as well. All right, so there we go. So once you've customized your hotbar to whatever you want it to be, all you need to do is hold C and then press a number between one and nine. And so this number determines which of these hotbars you're gonna save it to. So be careful here because you can overwrite your hotbars and then you can't get it back. There is no control Z, no way to go back. So make sure you save it to the correct one. So I think I'll save it to this fourth one over here. I don't think I'll need those white blocks too often. So what I wanna do is hold this. C key and then just press 4 and we'll see a message pop up. Item hotbar saved, restore with X plus 4. And so if we now go back into our saved hotbars tab, we'll see that this hotbar is now saved to our fourth saved hotbar slot. And so to load the different hotbars, as I already mentioned, all you need to do is hold X and then press one of the numbers between 1 and 9 to go to that specific hotbar. So if we press X7, we'll go to our seventh hotbar. If we press X4 again, we'll go back to our beautiful spawn egg hotbar. And so this way you can customize all of these different hotbars. Also with items you can normally not get in a creative inventory, you can now put them in a creative inventory under the saved hotbars right here. You can take them out from here as well if you would want to. But you can't change these hotbars from here. So I can't like change this one to iron golems or this one to parrot spawn eggs. No, you can only take out items from this screen right here. That's all you can do here. But still really useful. And we can restore our hotbar again by holding X and pressing 4 of course. And so if you want to make sure that you don't accidentally overwrite any of your hotbars in the future, what I suggest you do is go to your options, controls, keybinds, and scroll down to our save hotbar activator key. And just set this to a key that you never use. So for example, we can set it to this times key. I don't think I use that ever. But we could also, for example, set it to something like pause break, which, yeah, I don't think anyone uses that key. So that's, I think, quite important because when you're playing, you might accidentally press the C and one of the number buttons and then you suddenly have changed your hotbar and can't get it back. So I do recommend setting it to a key you don't use ever so you don't accidentally overwrite your saved hotbars. You can still load them, of course, using the X key and pressing all of these different numbers. You can see that that goes quite fast and is really easy to do. And so there we go. That is how to save and load hotbars in Minecraft Java Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one in the future. I want to thank my tier 3 member this is Mikalar. Thank you for becoming a tier 3 member. But anyway there we go. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope to see you all in the next one. So till then bye bye.